Hey, what's going on, Who That Nation? Welcome to another edition of the State of the Saints podcast, where we talk New Orleans Saints. My name is TJ Jones. Thanks for checking out the podcast. I really do appreciate it. Well, Who That Nation, we got to talk about cornerback Eli Apple. Now, if you have not heard, according to sources, the New Orleans Saints will not, I repeat, will not pick up the fifth-year option for cornerback Eli Apple. Apple. Now, this comes from last season when the New Orleans Saints traded for Eli Apple in the middle of the season. And we all know in the Huda Nation that Eli Apple has some ups and he has some downs. But I will say this about Eli Apple, man. I I feel like he was coming uh, to an organization that really wanted him to be there. It seemed like the New York Giants did not want Eli Apple. Um, As a matter of fact, former New York Giant, now Washington Redskin, Landon Collins was not a fan of Eli Apple at all. And a lot of people in the locker room of the New York Giants thought he was a little bit of a whiner and a mama's boy. Um, His mom is a a person that is always concerned about the welfare and the well-being of her son. She's extremely active on social media, man. And uh, I think she landed like some kind of media job right after Eli Apple was drafted. But... A lot of people don't like the relationship that they have, especially him being a grown man. And, uh, you know, they feel like he can handle his own business. Now, we have not seen anything or uh, heard anything from his mom since he was with the New Orleans Saints. And I think that that was good for Eli Apple because he needed a fresh start. He came to the New Orleans Saints, and I feel like, you know, it was a clean slate. Nobody expected anything out of him and stuff to play pretty decent. And he did, man. I mean, yeah, he got burnt like toast every now and then but for the most part Eli Apple he was a short tackler um you know I think he had like one uh bad game well I mean he was just getting exposed man and then all of a sudden like week after week after week he started to improve I mean I didn't put any stock in that first game when he played in the Minnesota Vikings game because he just got there so he was still learning um the system and as weeks went on Eli Apple improved so that's all you can ask for Uh, The Saints not picking up his fifth-year option, I am not surprised by that at all. At all. Because, look, the New Orleans Saints have a lot of players that they're going to have to pay. They're going to have to pay these guys. I mean, these guys that we're seeing making plays all over the field, these guys deserve their money. And Eli Apple, if he wants his money, he got to go out there and play. He got to handle up on his business, man. Like, if this is the last year of your contract, you got something to prove. And if the New Orleans Saints uh, don't pay you, then maybe some other team will. I mean, he has a lot to prove, man. Eli Apple has to go out there and play some of the best football he possibly can. There are no more excuses for Eli Apple. You didn't like the situation in New York. You're out of New York. You no longer have to deal with former head coach Ben McAdoo. You don't have to deal with Pat Shermer. You don't have to deal with some of those New York Giant players. It's time to step up, man. It's time to step up and move aside. Eli Apple has an opportunity to go out here and make some plays and put himself in a market to make a lot of money. So it's up to him what he's going to do with that. But I'd like to hear from you. What do you think about the Saints not picking up the fifth-year option for Eli Apple? Comment down below, like, and share this video. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the State of the Saints podcast YouTube channel. Previous episodes of the podcast are available on iTunes, Spotify, and iHeartRadio.com. Till next time, all I have to say is, who that?